I would like to take a moment and have everyone who supports the Maricopa County Sheriff's Department and his law enforcement to stand. Thank you. I'm gonna stand too. Stand too. <laughs> Many of these uh her name is Guillermina Pichardo and she came to the United States about 19 years ago. She is now a U.S. citizen. She just became a US, U.S. citizen on, Ju on uh, July 15th and she came here because she wanted uh, different things from her government. And now you might have not known that she was a U.S. citizen and Sheriff Arpaio might not know that she was a U.S. citizen, but she feels that because of the color of her skin, Sheriff Arpaio can now interrogate her. She was one of the women that got arrested trying to contact you, trying to speak to you, Supervisor Knasek, sitting quietly on the chair of a lobby that uh, your, your office is at. Thank you. that you uh, uh, restrain yourselves and uh, conduct yourselves in a, a manner appropriate with a public meeting. Uh, Christy Thielen is the next speaker. Sir, I'm sorry. We're being asked to leave, but I'm on the public comments. My next speaker is Christy Thielen. <clears throat> Miss, you're not speaking. You're leaving. Sean, take her into custody, please. She was asking me. My name's Christy Tylen. Uh, she's leaving. It's fine. She's no. leaving. You can't arrest you. She's leaving. Monica Sandschaefer. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm not being allowed to address the county. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. Being no, I'm not. Being no, I'm Andy, this is getting crazy. I'm trying to leave and they won't let me. They're arresting me, sir. Is this how you run your county? Please stop this. Monica Sandschaefer. That's me, sir. Emmanuel Gallardo. to leave, at which point the, the deputies kind of swooped in. And it did look like it took them forward by surprise, but they didn't really respond. It was pretty much ridiculous. It's turned into a police state here in Maricopa County. More real concern. It wouldn't happen any other place in this country, and it wouldn't happen even in other countries. Yeah. You know, they didn't even give given a chance to, like, get out of the aisle where they, were, they stood up, they were heading out. And somehow they just made a quick decision from like from that morning, okay, get out or you're gonna be arrested too. Okay, you're arrested now. Well they're being charged for disorderly conduct, criminal disorder. Criminal disorder and, and trespassing. Well, according to their report, there were four of us. Yeah. Okay. Just four of you caught it. Right. Or what were the charges? will show otherwise. The charges were criminal trespass, misdemeanor two, and disorderly conduct disrupting a meeting, which is a misdemeanor one, which is more serious than a misdemeanor two. And, and why do you think this happened? Um, I think it's pretty clear we were being targeted based on the fact that we had uh, done a sit-in in their office on one hall. It's clearly retaliation, it's intimidation. You know, that's the business of the sheriff's exactly. office. We've seen it over and over again. New Times has seen it. This is the way they are. That nothing stays the same. They keep calling my name. It's like they want me to understand. It's a 
Then they come and say, oh, I'll throw you under arrest for refusing to leave. And I, I don't remember refusing. <laughs> but... <laughs> This whole thing is about abuse of power. This whole thing is just unchecked power. Like they're singing to me. It's like they're singing to me. It's like they're singing. But you know what? It's a fading song. And I grow more free. After.